Today I'm making a keto pizza. Um, you're going to start with a glass or ceramic bowl. Uh, I use a pie pan, it works really well because it's flat. First was a tablespoon and a half or a quarter of butter. I just slice that off and I need to melt that. You're going to do this all in the pan to make the crust. It's a 90 second crust. And once you make that, you load it up with all your ingredients and you bake it for about eight minutes. So we've already done three. We're making them for the entire family tonight, even the kids. So that doesn't take very long. So now what you do, you need a tablespoon of coconut flour. And you're just gonna, all the rest of the ingredients you're just gonna throw right in the pan. You, know, you need a teaspoon of softened cream cheese. Put that in the bowl. Doesn't have to be all pretty. Or I'm not really exact with my measurements on anything I do. So whatever you get in there is perfect. Okay, you need a quarter teaspoon of baking soda. Three. You're gonna do one egg white. I always like to do that in a separate dish so you don't get the shells in there. So add that right in. And then a tablespoon of mozzarella cheese. And we grated our own tonight, so it's fresh. So one tablespoon right in there. You're gonna whisk that all together. It's gonna to look a little strange. You're probably gonna think, how in the world is that going to make a pie crust? But I will show you how it works. So just incorporate it all really well together. And this is our first time trying this tonight. Everyone's been craving pizza and I had to find a good recipe to help with those cravings. So it's pretty well incorporated now. And then you wanna take a spoon, get it all off the sides, and just spread it smooth. All right, just about there. Okay, so it looks like that. And now you're gonna pop it back in the microwave for 90 seconds. All right, it is done out of the oven or the microwave. So I like to go around and loosen the edges and take a spatula and just loosen it so when you flip it out, it doesn't stick to the bottom of the dish. It's pretty, I mean, it's, it doesn't stick very much, but if you flip it out, you might get a piece that sticks and you don't want it to tear. So it's all loose now. Then I've lined my baking sheets with foil and just flip it on out. And now they're ready to load up and you can see we already started here. Um, what I'm using for my sauce is Rayo's homemade, zero carbs, can't beat that. And you just, a tablespoon of sauce is plenty. Now these back two are for my kids, so I might give them a little bit more sauce and just rub it around. And you can really load up with any toppings, you know, meat, veggies. Tonight we're doing, the kids will have cheese. Um, Kurt and I are gonna do pepperoni and sausage and some cheese on there. Get our protein and our fats in. So now, I always weigh my protein so I get a accurate amount. Um, and for the pepperonis, I'm not as big of a pepperoni fan as Kurt. That's Kurt's, his is loaded. So I'm just gonna put a couple pepperonis on mine. And then I will load mine up with the sausage. I did about an ounce and a half of sausage. This has two ounces on it. And then just top it with cheese. And each one should get about a third cup of cheese. We track all our macros, so I like to get accurate measurements when I'm doing this. And this is actually, this is a quarter cup, so that actually looks pretty good. I don't think I need a third cup. All right, and the kids will load theirs up with cheese. They don't like anything but cheese on theirs. With our freshly grated mozzarella, I can't beat that. All right. I am going to pop these in the oven at 400 for about four to eight minutes. All right, they are ready. There's the meat lovers one. 
and the cheese. So the eggs just got all nice and crispy. I'm gonna let them sit there a minute before I cut them. For a side dish, I made, all right, so for a side dish, I made a broccoli and cauliflower salad. I actually made my own ranch dressing to put on it. It's got some bacon and cheese in it. I'll do a video on the dressing and how I did that later on. But the whole meal, and the pizzas are about three carbs, and the salad is about two carbs.